Hi, welcome to Panda Key Learning. Digital learning is simplified with happy learning. I'm Radhika. I'm going to explain the simulation project based on MATLAB simulating blocks. Now, let's learn the project about seven level inverter using eight switches using MATLAB simulating blocks. We also can do the same simulation project in hardware. For that, check the description box below for the YouTube links. We also provide free webinars and various courses on various domains. To get more information, subscribe our Panta Key Learning channel and get updated notification daily. Now, let's see the concept about this project. Inverters are nowadays are very much in demand due to their serviceability. Based on the area of application, there are various types of inverters available among them. Cascade or Hutchbridge Multilevel Inverter is a very useful in every industrial application, power system and home appliance. There are numerous limitations of a conventional two-level inverter like a presence of harmonics and high rate of change of voltage that is caused in the output waveform. The elimination of a presence of harmonics in the inverter, inverter output involves a various methods. Cascade connection of a Hutchbridge is one of the very efficient way to eliminate the presence of harmonics and high change in the output voltage also. Mainly, this project presents a new type of multi-level inverter obtained by cascading two Hutchbridge inverters using the asymmetric DC voltage source in the ratio of a 1 is to 2. This new 7 level inverter can operate as a 7 level multi level inverter providing the asymmetrical DC voltage source. This cascaded Hutchbridge multi level inverter using an asymmetric voltage source compromises of 8 switches as per the conventional topology where symmetric voltage source are being used consists of the 12 switches. And the main objective of this a project is to increase the number of levels with reduced number of switches. So basically multi-level inverter in the sense it is a one kind of electronic circuit that operates from a DC current source or voltage source that convert into the AC current or a voltage source. Multi-level inverters and inverters do the same function. The main difference between the multi-level inverters and inverter is capable of producing a serious staircase output waveform which is nearly equal to the sinusoidal. This multi-level inverter is very becoming uh, popular in industrial and domestic applications uh, mainly because of its ability to generate the output uh, with extremely low distortion which can also reduce the dv by dt stresses. Therefore, electromagnetic compatibility problem can also be reduced. Basically, this multi-level inverter classified into the three types. One is a diode clamped multi-level inverter and flying capacitors multi-level inverter and cascader multi-level inverter. In this paper, we are going to use a cascader multilevel inverter. So this cascader configuration has recently becoming a very popular in high power AC supplies and also the adjustable speed drive applications. This inverter consists of a series of hutch bridge uh, that means a single, uh, single phase full bridge inverter units in each of its uh, three phases. Each hutch bridge unit has a own DC source which is for a induction a motor would be a battery unit or a fuel cell or a solar cell. This separate DC source is associated with the single phase of full bridge inverter. The AC terminal voltage source of a different level inverters are connected in a series through the different combinations of the four switches that means the S1 to S4 each converter level can generate the three different output voltage. That means a plus VDZ and minus VDZ and zero. This is our uh, seven level multi-level inverter circuit diagram. Here we are going to take the two hutch bridges which are connected in a series arrangement and each hutch bridge contains the four power, electro, uh, power switches that means a MOSFET switches. Totally it uh, consisting of eight MOSFET switches and each hutch bridge having the four MOSFET, MOSFET switches. These two hutch bridge switches are worked as a two hutch bridge series connections. So first hutch bridge switches are a S1 and S4. Second hutch bridge switches are S1 dash and S4 dash open at a time. On the other hand S2, S3 same as a second bridge S2 dash and S3 dash are off. So output will be waveform of a star gas. If the number of level increases the number of DC source also increases. 
This is our overview of a simulation model and this is our output. So it's look like a stark as output waveform. It's almost look like a sinusoid. Now we are going to take the MATLAB software, open the model. MATLAB software. This is our overall simulation model of a 7 level inverter using a 8 switches. So for this 8 switches, we need a pulse generator. We only give the pulse to uh, all the 8 switches. So here you have to see the 8 switches. For the 8 switches, we need a pulse generator in a different. Now run the simulation. Double click on the scope. This is our output waveform. So if we take the complete one cycle, so from 0 to 360 degree, it consisting a positive half cycle and also the negative half cycle. This is a level 1 and level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, level 6 and level 7. So this uh, new 7 level multi level inverter topology which uses a less number of switches than the conventional inverter topology and hence the possibility of producing higher number of level with the same switches. This is our overview about this MATLAB simulation project has been explained. To get more information about this project and MATLAB files, contact our Panta Key Learning from the description box below. Thank you for watching this video. We also provide a free webinars and various courses on various domains. To get more information, subscribe our Panta Key Learning channel and get updated notification daily. If the concept explained is useful and informative, give like and share. Comment your feedback in the comment box. Thank you once again.